good morning dear students today we will learn how do we join two sentences into a simple sentence how do we join two sentences into a complex sentence and how do we join two sentences into a compound sentence we have certain rules we have certain points to remember when we join it so first is how do we join two or more sentences into a simple sentence the points we should remember are we should use a participle when we are joining into a simple sentence when we are joining two sentences into one simple sentence we should use a participle a preposition in between or an infinitive okay why preposition we understand why participle and infinitive because both of them are verbals what are verbals they are not verbs right a simple sentence can have only one subject and one verb means one independent clause so if we have to use more than one it will not remain a simple sentence right so we can use a participle or an infinitive so what is a participle it's a word ending in ing which acts as an adjective for the noun and what is an infinitive two plus verb to play to run to go that is not a verb it is a verbal and we can use a preposition let us take examples i say the policeman ran fast he caught the criminal now these are two sentences we have to convert it into one simple sentence the policeman ran fast he caught the criminal running fast the policeman caught the criminal running fast here what is running running is a participle here not a verb so running fast the policeman caught the criminal this way come to joining into complex sentences now when we have to join two simple sentences into a complex what should we take care of we have two simple sentences we have to make them complex you can use a noun clause an adjective clause or an adverb clause what does it mean in easy language when you have two simple sentences and you have to join them using a conjunction it will obviously you have to use one conjunction to join two sentences in complex we use subordinating conjunctions so when you will use a subordinating conjunction it will become a it will become a complex sentence let us take example he is a renowned doctor it is known to everybody that he is a renowned doctor is known to everybody now that is a subordinating conjunction okay the girl fed the parrot the parrot was kept in a cage the girl fed the parrot which was kept in a cage you have used which right okay he was he got the reward he was delighted he was delighted when he got the reward it's a subordinating conjunction when he was delighted because he got the reward because is also a coordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction sorry so this way you have two simple sentences you want to make one complex sentence use a subordinating conjunction and you are done how do we join two simple sentences into compound you use a coordinating conjunction for joining them for example she is soft spoken her brother is quite the reverse she is soft spoken but her brother is quite the reverse so but for so and all these are coordinating conjunctions when you have to join two simple sentences into a compound sentence you use coordinating conjunction when you have to join two simple sentences into complex you use a subordinating conjunction when you have to join two sentences to frame one simple sentence use a participle infinitive or a preposition